Monroe right down there? <laughs> okay. You that Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> so Good thing you wore those leggings under I that know. dress tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if you had. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekers YouTube channel. Today we are here in Niagara Falls, Canada, and today we have dinner reservations for the Skyline Tower. It is the revolving dining room observation deck here in Niagara Falls. We're gonna get a beautiful view of the falls while we eat a fabulous dinner. I'm so looking forward to it. And if you wanna know if it's worth eating here, then you're in the right place. Make sure you stick around, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. Let's go. All right guys, like we said, we're here in Niagara Falls. Super excited to be here. Uh, this is the first thing that we are doing here in Niagara. Uh, so yeah, should be a good time. I have, well, the only thing about this guy, he likes tall towers. Taller the better. So I'll link our video down below where we were in Bangkok and we were at the uh, King Power Tower. That was a pretty, a pretty cool video. So yeah, we're gonna eat dinner. Uh, hopefully we'll see some fireworks tonight maybe. So we'll see. So yeah, let's go. All right guys, so we're inside. So the cool thing about this is, is there's actually two dining rooms in an observation deck. So we're having dinner at the revolving dining room. And there's also the buffet and then the observation deck. And it's my understanding with the dining experience, you also get a access to the observation deck too. So we're gonna check out things. And if you just wanna to go to the observation deck, it is $19 and they upsell you from there. You can do like an all day pass, come and go as much as you want. But $19 is the minimum Canadian, uh, so $15. US uh, if you just want to go to the top. All right, so we we booked our tickets online. I don't recall how much they were. I don't. I guess we haven't paid for them yet. Mm -mm. I think we just set set the reservations online. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you basically check in at the front. They take a photo if you're into that sort of thing. Christine always likes to skip the photos, even though um, we're on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Not my back. Just like people, other people taking her photograph yeah, for some reason. Uh, now we're just waiting on the elevator. It looks like it's. Probably at the top because that weight came down. Oh, uh, there's the weights, yeah. Okay. So all it means right. it just hit the it just hit the top. We gotta wait for it to come all the way back down. Cool. Uh, and fun fact, the elevators on the outside of the building. They are. So we're gonna get a view on the way up. Yeah. And, uh, so uh, at the left side we have American and Bridal right right Falls. On this side we have Canadian uh, Horseshoe Falls. You can take pictures. Send you to lunch. Okay. All right, guys. We just got. And someone is enjoying this already. He's already popping up the pictures. But there we have the American Falls. And then over here we have the Canadian Falls. How cool is that? And uh, they did say don't put anything in the ledge because it revolves and you'll lose it. <laughs> and here is a shot of the menu. So we've been here for about 20 minutes and we really can't see the uh, American Falls anymore. Oh, I barely can. Just right over there. It's way over there. But we are able to see uh, the Canadian Falls really well right here. It does take about an hour to get all the way around and okay. you know, it's a fancy dinner. You're going to be here for a while. Yeah, you know, we're not so. rushing. Yeah, no doubt you're going to have time to see it from all angles. Yeah. All right, so we have a little flameless candle here, which I'm always super appreciative with. Uh, we have some butter and we have uh, some baguette bread. Nice. All right, guys, so here's my French onion soup. That looks and smells amazing. But Lewis's salad is a huge. It looks really good, but yeah, that is massive. Yeah. It was uh, $15 Canadian, so at the time, and you're talking about American prices, about 25% discount. Yeah. So take 25 percent off everything so it's like a twelve dollar salad good. Mm, yeah good very good i like it a lot good caesar dressing um the bacon bacon bits tons of bacon bits on there so very good all right my soup is killer the salad is really good the soup is very um obviously warm but the cheese makes it really like buttery which is actually really good definitely enjoying it all right guys so the falls are right there but let's looking at some of the hotels that are right around here this first building right here is the casino um the one past the same disney suites that's where we're staying and then this one over here i don't know which hotel that is but I think out of all of them, the ones that have the best view of the falls, at least from this side, I'm gonna say it's either the casino or the embassy. On um, this one, you're 
kind of kind of far back from. I mean, you're probably a good city block. Um, but I guess because these two buildings are in the way, this one over here, that one is not going to be really close enough to actually see much of the falls, unless you're super duper duper high. And as we continue along, now we're getting a look at the Clifton area. You can see there's. Uh, there's the eye of Niagara Falls. That's a little volcano. I just saw it erupt a couple minutes ago. I don't know how often that goes off. They have this insane looking go-kart track. I mean, look at that. It's like three, four stories or something. So there's a whole, all kinds of stuff to do over there. That's where like Ripley's Believe It or Not and then all the different museums and things are. So, so I think one night we're gonna head on over to that area too and check it out. But, but dinner just arrived. So here is my rack of lamb. That does look spectacular. So they are a decent size though. Uh, I always do want more rack lamb. Uh, potatoes and vegetables, uh, broccoli. And what, Christine, you got the New York strip steak? Yeah. The thing is huge, it's 12 ounces. Wow. Yeah. I'll give you some. That's a big one. Yeah, right. <laughs> How did you order it? Medium? Yeah, I ordered medium. That looks a little less than medium. Yeah, that's all right, though. It's got like a... Um, a little panko crust on it? Yeah, a little bit of crust oh, on it. Nice. Yeah, it looks good. Very tender, very juicy. The nice, you know, crunchiness on the edges. Very well done. Um, not well done as quickly. Yeah, per perfectly cooked. It tastes very good. I appreciate yeah. it. We'll give your steak here a little bit of a try. So you get a little bit of sauce on there. Okay. So that's good, it's got a nice char to the top, kind of crisp it in there. Um, I, I'm not the biggest fan of New York strips. I t tend to find them a little bit chewy, and that one is a little on the chewy side, but it's not bad. Yeah. You know, I don't think you can go wrong. If you like steak, go ahead and order that one. I'm kind of more of a filet kind of guy myself. And as we're starting to swing around, we get, a, again, another beautiful view of the American Falls. As well as here we can see the launch pad, the dock, I guess, for the Hornblower. So that is the Canadian version of the Maid of the Mist. Uh, Christina mentioned that's also where the zip line uh, are launched as well. So, so we actually have plans to do both of those. Um, it's going to, unfortunately, the weather forecast is looking like rain tomorrow. We're going to try to squeeze as much of that as we can. We have tickets for the Hornblower early in the morning. Um, we want to do the zip lining later at night if, if the weather holds out and uh, we've got tons of other stuff to do. So make sure you definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button because we're gonna show you everything that there is fun to do in Niagara Falls and a quick two day long weekend. Stick tuned. <laughs> Hi crazy, second hand, wasn't that up, like red, white, and blue? Yeah, okay. so most of the tourism I think does happen on the Canadian side because um, from the American side, you can't really see the American Falls. You have to be on the Canadian side to see them. Oh, that's true, you're right. Yeah, so right. unless you do, you know, there's the, you can do the, the boardwalk next to them and that sort of thing, but like at nighttime, anybody staying right now over on the American side, they can't see the lights that are there. Oh, huh. facts. All right, not crazy. They are red, white, and blue. So I wasn't sure. Hi, I could, music I, is always nice. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, what were you we saying? Right. Well, so I kept hearing the piano. I didn't know if it was recording or an actual guy. So, yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> All right, guys, got some cheesecake for dessert, even though it's not Louis's favorites. He is going to enjoy the strawberries, I think. Yeah, I'm going to eat some of the strawberries. I'll, I'll eat a little bit of it. Yeah. I mean, we've got it. Yeah. Might as well. But it does look good. It yeah, looks, it is beautiful. I mean, as far as cheesecake goes, it's actually not bad. Yeah. But, yeah, I'll have a few bites of it. All right, glad, we, glad I talked you into it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so past Lewis's silhouette. <laughs> um, that is so the American Falls over here. On this side, with a lovely blue color, my favorite color. That's nice and green. So, what's the damage? It was 196 Canadian. For 196 Canadian, they say that you can also pay in American dollars for 163 uh, American dollars. But I get, the, I get a sense that it does say 1.2%. So I think you're paying an additional 1.2% um, conversion fee or something. Conversion fee, yeah. That's why it's important to have a credit card that doesn't charge foreign transaction fees. Normally, when we do travel to foreign countries, we tend to just get cash out of the ATM mm -hmm. and use that. We haven't had a chance yet. Um, we haven't had a chance yet. We've been kind of running around. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I, I think here we're going to have a little bit better chance of finding places that ex accept American Express. Because America's a little money right there. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of Americans running and 
running around on this side of the border too. So, so for us, we we managed to make our full resolution here. That took a little over an hour, mm -hmm. about an hour and ten, hour and fifteen minutes. Um, so we're just taking in the last few views, taking in the last few views here at the falls. We're gonna head on out. We're gonna head back to our hotel. No, we're gonna head upstairs. So the observation deck. Oh. I forgot about that. Yeah. All right. So we're going to head upstairs and check out the observation deck. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to take the stairs up one level, the observation level. So let's go. Let's go. All right, so we just made it to the observation level. Yeah. Looks like we can observe from here. But also, we could go outside. Oh, you outside? I'm outside. Let's go outside. So of course, we got to do that. Let's go. Oh, is it windy? Oh my gosh! <laughs> You're gonna get blown away. Someone's gonna get blown away. Oh my Lanta! <laughs> I don't know how much the audio is gonna come across out here. <laughs> Ladies, y'all wear a dress up here. Oh my gosh! Yeah. We did find out from one of the fun facts that are posted around the revolving restaurant that the highest winds ever observed here was 91 miles an hour. So. At least it shouldn't be more than that. <laughs> Disco lights. <laughs> oh, you go right down there. <laughs> okay. You have Marilyn Monroe. Good so thing you wore those leggings under I that know. dress tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if you had. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. We're fine. And there is your unobstructed view of the Canadian Falls. Look at all that water. Look at all them chickens. It's like it's not wanting to focus. Oh, it's kind of hard to focus with all the different colors in the lights. Still getting blown away over there. All right, and here is our view of the American Falls. Very nice, very nice. So I definitely have to say, you know, I love America. I am an American, but the, the Canadian Falls are definitely the better ones. They, they got the better end of that deal. How's the weather outside, Christine? One day. <laughs> <laughs> Is the water Canadian water or American water? It's God's water, man. Okay. okay. No one owes the water. All right. <laughs> so I'm glad to see the uh, Americans and Canadians are working together to light up the falls. Are they though? Uh, see, I always thought that the falls were lit from behind. I didn't realize there were projections from this side, so. Okay, listen. I am, no, I am no Einstein, but I'm pretty sure you can't mix light and water. Yeah, you can. I guess it's true. We have a okay. I'm an Einstein because you have a light bulb in the pool. Don't yeah, in the pool. Yeah, <laughs> we okay. have a waterproof light bulb. All right, I, you know, I promise I'm smart. I promise I am. <laughs> now that we've been blown away by Niagara Falls, mm -hmm. what what is up next? My favorite part: the gift shop. All right, not go check it out. But the gift shop. You can get some Niagara Falls placemats for four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's using placemats in Niagara Falls, but somebody, apparently they sell them. Looks like we can get an Enjoy Canada ripoff, Coca-Cola ripoff hat. So what'd you find? I found a magnet right. for uh, $6. All right. I actually have to make the one. It's a little bit more affordable too. It's $4. Okay. Well, two bucks. So the gift shop here definitely seems to be more just kind of generic Niagara Falls stuff rather mm -hmm. than Skyline Tower specific. Yeah. So um, I think you, there's tons of little gift shops all around this area. So you may be able to find better prices. I'm not sure we haven't been to any of them yet. Um, but just going to get the magnet and get on out of here. Let's go. Hopefully you guys can see this on the camera, but if you're in the observation tower on the deck, it tells you uh, like what you're looking at. So that way is Casino Niagara. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, so here are your pro tips for visiting the Skyline Tower. I would say number one is make sure that you book a reservation online because depending on what time or what day you decide to come, they will sell out and they may not have walk-up availability. So definitely want to make sure you book a reservation online so that way you're guaranteed a table. Pro tip number two is there are actually two different restaurants here at the Skyline Tower. We ate here in the revolving dining room. Just directly above that is the Summit Buffet, Summit Suite Buffet. And then we are currently on the observation deck. So if you want the revolving dining room, you have to book that one specifically. The Summit Suite Buffet does not revolve. So make sure that you make the appropriate reservation. And pro tip number three is they do have seats by the window as well as interior seats that are close by the window. You should get a, a spectacular view from either one. But if you want specifically that window seat, make sure that you request that. 
uh, they'll try their best to honor it, but although, as you can imagine, everybody wants to see by the window and it's not guaranteed. However, I do think that if you happen to be celebrating something, you may be more likely to get that window seat. So keep that in mind. Make your choices. <laughs> Don't abuse the system. Yes. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for us today. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below. Have you ever eaten here? Are you looking forward to eating here? Because we'd like to hear about that as well. Remember to hit that subscribe button because that's super important. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. My hair kind of looks a little crazy. I don't have my hair gel. Why are you taller? This is a little step up. Probably shoes on today. I want to finish eating this. Okay, good. <laughs> and I have hat hair, so I just put a little bit of water in it. Look at me knowing all those pro tips. Uh, all right. And it just looks kind of crazy. Uh, sweet buffet, and then the revolving tower is the third. Or the. I mean, all right. And what was the third one you said? <laughs>